hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome hope you're doing well so today's video is a get ready with me video and uh, i'm going to be doing my makeup and also i will be showing you guys the beautiful dress i made before filming this video so if you want to see the end result of the makeup and also the dress please keep watching so to start right now i'm going ahead to uh, uh, fill in my eyebrows so for my makeup routine i like doing my make my eyebrows first before doing any other stuff just in case I don't have enough time to do my full face makeup I'm just gonna apply powder and just go at the door so my eyebrows will be looking good instead of just having a, a, a nice looking makeup without my eyebrows being done so yeah so next I'm using a spoolie to comb my eyebrows make sure they're leaning towards the direction I want them to uh, to lay and also adding the gel it's optional you don't have to do it sometimes i like to do that once in every three months but it works for me i don't do it every day or every time i do my eyebrows so next i'm going ahead to use the concealer to clean under my brow also this concealer will serve as a base for the eyeshadow so next using a fluffy brush i'm gonna use that to blend out the concealer to make sure the uh the concealer is not creased up or just making sure it's smooth so for the top of my brow i'm going to be cleaning that up using my foundation so kind of blaze in with my skin so it's perfect to use that for that so doing the same thing i'm going ahead to blend that out into the skin okay gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and now back <laughs> all right so to set the concealer i'm going ahead to use a translucent powder to set the concealer in place so that way my um, my foundation sorry that way the eyeshadow will sit perfectly without it being like moldy or you know you get the point so i'll leave it to it but you just want to make sure after you apply the concealer you want to go in with a loose powder to set the concealer in place that will lock the concealer in place all right moving on to eyeshadow okay this <laughs> i don't know what's going on with me today but it's all kind of fun so so today I'm trying a new eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow is from Zoeva and I recently posted this online from Sephora and uh, the picture they provided on the uh, line website was really vibrant and the review were, were really good so I decided to uh, purchase it and plus I might have a vacation coming up really soon and I want like a really vibrant eyeshadow and also pigmented that has a lot of pigments and also like I can left all in one I um eyeshadow palette but on though this doesn't have like a dark like a brown eyeshadow uh, color or a black but I can create any kind of dark eyeshadow I want using just one palette so next right now I'm going in with a blue eyeshadow from the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using that to create the, like a darker shade on the crease of the hair so just to deepen the color a little bit more so to do that I start by taking a little bit of the blue eyeshadow apply it and blend it out take a little bit more and I apply it again and blend blend so the key to this look is to do a lot of blending so you want to blend out like make sure to fade it out so you don't see you get the exact color you want so next I'm going in to cut the crease and I did that using a concealer so I didn't say the concealer so right now I'm going ahead to uh, apply the dark green eyeshadow on top of the uh, of the concealer so I'm doing like going for an ombre uh, look so next to this eyeshadow I'm going in with a beige color I'm putting that next to the green so I'm gonna blend it into the into the green kind of fade it in a little bit Okay, next I'm going in with a white eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply that on the inner corner of the eye to kind of make the uh, the eyes pop, kind of brightens up the eyes. And this white shadow is really good. It, the pigment is awesome. What I mean, awesome, it is awesome. So I bought a white eyeshadow before, a matte eyeshadow before, and it didn't work right. That matte eyeshadow just stays on the brush and not on the uh, not on the eye where i apply the eyeshadow this one actually stays and doesn't fall out i didn't experience any fallout out of this uh, eyeshadow palette with hands up love it 
perfect for my vacation i'm so ready but anyways so right now i'm going ahead to highlight my brown bone and also making sure to blend that out so i'm going to blend it into the fan sorry into the uh the eyeshadows just to make sure it fades in and blends really well with it so next i'm gonna go ahead and apply the lashes off camera and i'm back all right so the next step is to apply mascara so i like i put it on my lashes and then apply the mascara after okay all done with the eyes so now it's time to move on to the face time to move on to the face okay all right so start i'm gonna i'm starting with a base so this is this wonder blur from uh, body shop so i'm just applying that on my face to kind of minimize the the pores on my face so okay moving on to foundation today i'm using two different type of foundation one is from sephora and the other one is from kiko milano so i'm going to be mixing both foundations together to get a perfect skin tone shade well all right it's really easy so you want to decide which one do you want more the darker shade or the lighter shade so for me i put a little bit more of the darker shade which is from sephora and a little bit of the lighter shade which is from kiko milano so right now i'm just going ahead to blend it all together and it is blended really good perfect match for my skin tone so all blend out <laughs> all right a little dance okay moving on to uh, concealer uh, oh okay I've already done that so moving on I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the uh, concealer spraying a little bit of a makeup facer is a nice I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out so I'm blending that out using a flat concealer brush so sometimes I switch up the brushes so today I decided to use a flat one tomorrow I might decide to use a fluffy one so whichever one that works for you you go ahead and use that so I'm just using that to blend out the concealer to make sure to blend it all out So next I'm going in to set the concealer in place using a translucent powder. So I'm just uh, applying that using the same um, the same brush I use in applying the concealer using in blending out the concealer. So I'm using that to uh, gently apply that into the areas I apply the concealer. So next for so the brown powder, I'm going ahead with the Kiko Milano brown powder to set the rest of my face. So as always, I'm going to be using the powder to go over the areas I apply the uh, the setting powder just to blend everything all out to make it like flawless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I went ahead and applied my blush and put on my nose off camera. So, so next right here, I'm going ahead to highlight the bridge of my nose and my cheekbones just to make that pop, just to add that light to it. Mm, a little bit of light and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't know why I'm saying it, but I know it's terrible. But don't come for me, okay? I'm just having some fun okay all done so my camera decided not to record while i was doing uh, my lips so and right now i'm just going ahead to apply lip gloss so this is a streamer lip gloss from plumber but i want a little bit i want it to be more glossy so i'm going back in with another type of lip gloss just to give it that shine so next i'm just going ahead to set the makeup in place using the makeup uh, facer and just fan it to set it okay that's it for the makeup we gotta move on to the dress oh before that let me just show you guys this cute earrings so this is diy earrings so i just uh with this up so i have this plain loop earrings i decided to switch it up a little bit a little bit okay i know it's kind of looking like a lot of green you hold on hold on it's not even a lot of green yet wait till you see the dress huh I'm going like a green crazy. Is that even a word? Green crazy? I'm not sure, but just something I just feel like to say today. Okay, that's it for today. That's it. Moving on to the dress. Okay, so I made this dress using a stretchy, super stretchy cotton fabric. 
So if you guys want a tutorial on how I make this dress, and we'll make it with a different color, but if you guys want a tutorial on that, leave your comment in the comment section down below, okay? And I will get to it. So this is the finished result of the look right here. Look at that beautiful off-shoulder dress. Love it. What do you guys think? I am loving this look. Okay, I'm ready to go out and eat some good food. All right, as always, if you find this video helpful, please not forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you already subscribed, thank you so, so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you in my next one. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye.